All right, guys, so right when I import the footage of this video, most of the footage, or a lot of it, is screwed up. Just want you guys to hear. And then, for random other times, it works, so. This is a really big purchase. I don't know exactly what happened right there, but I'm gonna have to try to narrate this video a little bit for you guys for the parts that sound like that. So basically, it's that time when your boy Blake is applying to colleges, or it was like a couple months ago. Basically, this video is gonna be explaining if any of this got cut off, my whole college process, where I got into, what I did in high school to get into one of the top film schools, and then I purchased a gift for myself for all my hard work that's paid off. What's up, guys? Quick little clip for my iPhone because I don't have my camera, but tomorrow on my selling page, B Sneak Shop, I'm dropping $500 mystery boxes. They're gonna be limited to only 25 boxes, and all boxes include stuff like Travis merch, off-white clothing, Babe Supreme, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm really excited to drop these for you guys. It's gonna be really dope when you guys unbox them and see what you get from me. But basically, they're dropping tomorrow, $500, and go follow my selling page, B Sneak Shop, to learn more info. I don't know if this got cut off, but I'm gonna say it anyway again, just so you guys know it's very important. This video is for motivational purposes and entertainment purposes, not for showing off because I know money is tight right now for a lot of people and this purchase was made a little less than a month ago so just keep that in mind now the final thing I just wanted to announce is my $2,000 cash giveaway if you guys didn't know about it already steps are on the screen complete the three steps on my YouTube and Instagram and you'll have a chance to win $500 there's four winners so since a young Blake I've always kind of been into film I started recording little things with my sister here and there when I was younger now I've been doing YouTube for about six years and I just love creating content around my passion for sneakers and streetwear. Now keep in mind I've produced over 500 videos on this channel and you're not able to do that unless you enjoy making videos which a lot of content creators do or they'll just have somebody edit and film all their stuff. But for me I've done all this by myself. Basically flash forward to where we are now and it's time for me to apply to college. And I always had a lot going on whether it was with social media or other extracurricular activities which I'll explain a little bit in a second on top of school. So basically I decided after high school that I wanted to apply to film school. Now there are a lot of different film schools around the country, there's a lot of great ones, but the only thing is film is a very specific major and it's a lot harder to get into and there's a lot slimmer of an acceptance rate for all these like top film schools which is where I wanted to attend. Studied really hard in high school, did a lot of extracurricular stuff such as community service, making short films on the side because film schools required me to submit little short films and reels that I had made along my high school career with my applications when applying. And so basically I took care of business in high school, I got a decent ACT score, which is what I use to submit my applications to the colleges. And now to be honest with you guys, I really wanted to get into a film school that was in California. I didn't want to go to some random state. I didn't really want to go to the East Coast because I hate the cold weather. So just for you guys to keep that in mind, YouTube wasn't really the only thing I was doing at the time. I did go to a really academic school and the classes were not easy. So basically through my junior and senior year up until now, I had a lot on my plate, like a lot of different things going on. So to anybody that just thinks I do YouTube and I kind of just push school to the side, that's exactly what I didn't do. For anybody that thinks I did that, that's exactly what I didn't do. I've always wanted to go to college and pursue my film career. This YouTube thing has been really cool for me and I feel like I've got the most out of it while I could, but now I'm ready to go to film school, right? So I applied to the top five film schools. I didn't want to apply to more because if I didn't get into one of the top five, I wouldn't want to waste my time somewhere else. I decided with my family that I would rather go to a community college and then reapply in a year, which could have been possible. But basically, I always wanted to go to Chapman Dodge Film School. Chapman Undergrad University is a lot different and separate from Dodge Film School, which is where I applied. I applied to Dodge Film School. The acceptance rate is a little under 10%. And so basically I applied there and I ended up getting in. I remember right when I got the email, like I almost started crying. I couldn't believe it and I was like in shock. And so now this fall, I will be attending Chapman Dodge Film School it's in Orange County. It's a little bit outside of LA. Basically I thought about it for a long time and I didn't want to go to school somewhere directly in LA because I knew that that I'd get distracted with friends and a bunch of things that I'm usually doing. And then on the weekends when I don't have that much studying going on, I can come to LA for a couple days and then go back and then get back to work. I'm very blessed that my parents are able to cover my full education and I really do wanna take advantage of the money they're putting into my education and just my future, you know? And so basically, I'm going to Chapman Dodge Film School. Very, very excited. I can't wait to meet a bunch of people there and just pursue my goals and passion of becoming a film director, producer in the film industry. YouTube has been a crazy ride for me and I've loved doing it and I still enjoy doing it but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna continue this YouTube journey just because I'm getting my priorities straight and I want to get to the next level so 
we got this box right here. This is the moment you guys have been waiting for on this video. If you guys watched that whole part, thank you. I really appreciate it. This is basically my college decision debut video explaining where I'm going to college. So that's where I'm going, right? And so I'm gonna hop in this chair right here and we are going to unbox this guy right here. I am very, very excited and nervous to unbox this package right here. This is by far one of my most expensive purchases. I bought this all on my own. I felt like this was a smart investment for myself, at least to put my money towards something and put a lot of money into something. Now this is an item that I would personally say holds its value pretty well, especially for the price I paid for it. Let me know what you guys think in here. Comment down below right now before we open this up. I'm like so nervous. I'm so nervous to open this, but basically this has been a dream item of mine. I'm very, very into watches and jewelry. I'm almost 19 now, birthday's in two months. And just to be honest with you guys, I've very much grown out of the diamond jewelry, the flashiness, the, the really over the top flashy things. And so basically I would say this is a very mature piece and this is a big boy watch. And so I don't have a knife. I never seem to have a knife. So we're just gonna open this up. All right, a lot of packaging, a lot of packaging. I'm so excited right now, oh my God. Before I open this, just to make it clear to you guys, which I don't think I did because I was getting too fast into this, I basically purchased this as a gift to myself for working my ass off in high school, getting my priorities straight and getting into one of the top film schools in the world and getting into my top choice school where I'm going to be studying, directing and producing. And so that's why I got this. Just so you guys are aware, I purchased this all by myself without my parents' help. I know they're extremely proud of me for everything that I've done. They're gonna be covering my education, which is insane. And I'm so excited to attend Chapman Dodge Film School. So. So yes, I bought an Audemars Piguet watch, box and papers and everything, pristine pristine condition. I've already had an AP before. I had a two-tone, a rose gold, and stainless steel, 37 millimeter. They make 37 millimeters and 41s and then like a bunch of other sizes. But wearing an AP or wearing any watch overall, I've always really liked the fit to just be snug and like really just. And so I know a lot of you guys are gonna be dying to know how much I paid, how much this is worth, blah, blah, blah. All I'm gonna tell you guys is what the retail price is on this, just for educational purposes and retail on this watch is $44,000. Brand new, which I did not pay, paid under that. But just for you guys to keep that in mind, I'm not gonna say how much I paid. Uh, so basically, I unboxed the watch. It's super, super dope. I used to have a two-tone and I basically upgraded to this. It was like twice the price. And this has just always been like a dream of mine to have a watch like this. So I'm very, very happy and blessed and super excited to own a piece like this. Now I do like my watches fit really, really tight and snug. That's why I went with a 37 millimeter instead of a 41, which is a bigger size. I just prefer a smaller size, which is, I guess, an opinion. And so yeah, the outro didn't really work out on there. And so basically, if you guys are new, please make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you join the family. Also make sure to drop a like down below. And with all that being said, it's your boy Blake. I'll catch you guys in the next video. We're out of here, peace.